Hi guys, welcome back to Guru Beauty. I'm Jodi. Time for my April beauty favorites. I will start with skincare. One of the things I mentioned in a recent skincare routine video was that I've recently started taking Roaccutane for acne. And just to address some of the questions that I got in that video, why am I taking Roaccutane? My skin looks pretty good, why would I be taking something so hardcore for my face? Basically it's because I've been on antibiotics every single day for the last three to four years. When my dermatologist recommended that we try going off it, all the sort of hormonal acne around my jawline, the really painful cystic acne underneath my jawline, up around my ears, my hairline, that all came back unfortunately pretty soon after coming off my antibiotic. So basically the reason that I'm taking Roaccutane is because if it does work for you, the effects are often permanent. And so that's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping that Roaccutane is going to work for me to keep acne at bay, but then also the benefit of not having to take an antibiotic for the rest of my life every single day, which obviously has issues with resistance and that kind of thing. It's not healthy to be taking an antibiotic if you don't have to every day. So I'm hoping that Roaccutane will do that job for me permanently so I don't have to take that ongoing medication. So I hope that that makes sense. But basically one of the side effects of Roaccutane for many people is that it just dries you right up. I've been on it for about 40 days. I am documenting my experience with Roaccutane so I can make you know one video at the end of it my Roaccutane experience to share that with you guys but after 40 days I'm really not experiencing a whole lot of dryness but I am a little less oily and just to ward off the dryness I'm using this product from Embryolise a lot more often this one was sent to me by the very very sweet Miss May 27 or Sunny here on YouTube I'll post a link to her channel down below she's a wonderful makeup artist based in Paris and we did a swap last year and she sent me this one the Embryolise uh, creme concentrate. This one is used a lot by the Pixie Woo girls who both have dry skin and I'll post a link as well to where we can now get this in Australia. Uh, scottysmakeup.com.au is a good source for that. I'm really enjoying this. This is a really nice product. I've found that it really sinks in very quickly. It doesn't leave my skin sort of feeling greasy. I do only use this at night time but finding that my skin is just sort of very healthy feeling when I wake up. Really enjoying that because of how well it soaks in. On to a face product that I picked up recently. I will be doing a review video on this one at some point. This is the Chi Chi Super BB Cream with Caviar Extract and Colgard and I ended up getting this one in the shade medium to tanned. I think I thought I was picking up the medium and when I got it home I realized I got the medium to tanned. It suits me just fine. It does contain SPF 30 which is very important for anyone. I find the coverage of this very very nice. The finish of this very very nice. I do use it with a mattifying primer underneath. Be careful if you do have oily skin. I have heard that for many oily skinned girls this can make them quite oily. I do love the packaging. The price is nice, $19.95 or less if you get it on sale from Target or Maya where Chi Chi goes on sale all the time and it does say it's anti-aging and ultra moisturizing. Really enjoying that. Now this is what I'm still forming an opinion on and when I posted it in a recent haul I got a lot of questions and requests for a review. This is the NARS Light Reflecting Setting Powder. This is the pressed version in the shade Translucent Crystal. They do also have a loose one which I have recently purchased to compare. It's a really unique sort of pressed powder. It looks white in the compact. When you touch it, it feels sort of like plastic. It's hard to believe that any product is coming off, but you can see it does definitely have a light reflecting quality to it. And you can see where I've done a finger swipe on my hand, you are getting some light reflecting there. Now, when I first got this, I was using a powder brush, like a Real Techniques powder brush or multitasking brush to apply this. And I, I had mixed feelings about it. I felt like it really wasn't fantastic at the oil control. I felt like it really wasn't fantastic at making my skin look any more luminous. It certainly wasn't adding any coverage and I really didn't know if I saw an effect of this. And it's not a cheap powder as you know with NARS products. So I, I really wasn't sure what all the fuss was about. And then a viewer recommended in the comments of a recent video, I think where I used this, that I might want to try using it with a powder puff. And I've got to tell you that made all the difference. Again, I don't think it's the most perfect powder if you do want oil control or coverage, but this when applied with a powder puff, I felt like it really did have a smoothing finish to it. It does definitely help to sort of not mattify, but just 
set your makeup and it does help your makeup stay on longer but it does have a really nice luminous finish when applied with a powder puff so pressing it on with a powder puff I think you're just picking up a little bit more product that way and I am really enjoying this so far I will try and do a review video of this a little bit later once I've got a little bit more experience with the loose powder I am really enjoying this pressed version one of the makeup products that I've been enjoying this month is the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. I have featured this in a favorites video before, but what I'm really enjoying about this palette this month is the two brown shades, and I've been mixing them and using them in my brows with an angled brush. Really nice shade. I did wear them this morning, but I've since touched up my brows with something else. So again, this just makes this the perfect palette to travel with. You can make really nice and natural, neutral daytime, as well as smoking it up with that black for nighttime. I really like this palette. It's a really nice basics palette like they say and as well with the multi-purposing of the powder in the brows perfect shades for me also some lip products one of the things that I have noticed since I started taking Roaccutane was the dryness of my lips and that's a very common side effect taking Roaccutane so I have noticed you know when I wake up in the morning my lips feel very dry throughout the day my lips feel very dry my lipsticks don't sit the same they don't feel the same I do want to reach for a balm more than I ever ever have and these new New little numbers from Nivea the lip butters which we've been hearing about here on YouTube they are out in Australia most of you are probably aware of that now you can pick them up at Priceline Target also other viewers have seen them at Big W but the lip butters come in some really nice flavors they're less than five bucks nice and cheap I got the vanilla and macadamia and the caramel cream I think these are the new flavors um, and really really enjoying them I'm not the world's biggest fan when it comes to using pots to dip your finger in and apply I'm not someone who can always clean go and clean my hands and sanitize my hands before I stick my finger in that to apply it on my lips I just want to do it and go so I don't love that that they're in a pot but I really really like the product I really haven't had terribly cracked lips but definitely dry flaky lips and these just help keep my lips moisturized throughout the day I put them on at night I'm really really enjoying these as lip balms for dry lips and then the next favorite is a funny one. Uh, I spoke about this at length in a recent haul video on which there was a contest attached. Uh, so I will post a link to that video down below. But by the time this video goes up, the winner will have been announced back on that video's description bar. But this is the Hello Kitty Perfume Body Mist in the scent Musk Sticks. I love it. You buy these for five bucks from Priceline. I've still got so much of this left and I've been using it every day. This smells just like one of my favorite scents in the world and that's the more marshmallow hand cream and or perfume range. Beautiful sort of floral musky scent. This is exactly like that more scent and I, I find that it also lasts just as long as the more perfume, the more hand cream. When I spray this on myself in the morning I can still sort of just catch whiffs of it throughout the afternoon and I can't say that for many of my perfumes but I'm really enjoying this. For five bucks a can you cannot beat it. I love it. If you are like me and you love that marshmallow scent from more go out and pick up a can of this Hello Kitty. Don't spray it, just know that it smells exactly like the more marshmallow and you'll love it. A couple of lip products that I've been enjoying this month include a couple of lip liners from MAC. We've got Subculture here and then that is stripped down. A really nice sort of neutral shades. Because I'm not really wearing as many of my lipsticks because of this dry lip situation, I am using lip liners a lot with those Nivea balms so I will first of all apply the subculture which is more of that sort of pinky nude shade there all over my lip and then I'll do sort of a little bit more of a border with the strip down and I find that they work very nicely with some of my brighter shades of lip products as well. One of the other products that I've really enjoyed using those MAC lip liners with is when I apply that with the Models Prefer Ultra Lip Gloss Pencil in the shade Summer Fling. And it's a really sort of bright, peachy, corally type shade. See it next to the lip pencils. It's a really beautiful shade. When I mix it with the MAC lip liners, it comes off more as just a slightly more subdued peach on my lips and certainly got a lot of questions when I posted a picture of that on Instagram. And then the other lip combination that I've really been enjoying this month is a, another nude using the Models Prefer Infinite 
color lip liner in the shade always nude lasts a long time when you swatch it on your hand does last a long time on your lips as well not quite as long as the hand swatch but still i really like it and then i use that in conjunction with the models prefer ultra lip gloss pencil in the shade perfectly polished that's what they look like up here together i'll pop the always nude lip liner all over my lip and then just like a lipstick i'll apply that lip gloss pencil and it's actually a beautiful nude on the lips it does last quite a long time i really enjoy those products together and because of those lip products i'm changing my mind a little bit about the model's preferred brand i haven't been completely happy with some other products that i've tried or bought or swatched before but after my experience with some of these recent products that i've bought from them i'm slowly changing over to think they're not all that bad body product that i have really enjoyed this month include this one this one's from the brand cow shed and this is the lazy cow soothing body lotion really nice to be using a product called lazy cow this one comes with essential oils of jasmine chamomile and sandalwood and it does a really nice job if you've got dry legs dry arms anything like that this instantly transforms them into something a lot more moisturized and I find that that sort of moisture that hydration when I do use this stays for days on end I'm a big fan of this this one was sent to me from the website feelunique.com I'll post a link to that down below but check out Feel Unique because there are quite a few different brands that you can find on there that you can't necessarily get all that easily in Australia there are some brands that are restricted on that website that will not be shipped to Australia which is a bit of a bummer but this is a really favorite product of mine for the entire month and I'll definitely be using this every single time I have any sort of dry legs dry arms really really enjoying that body lotion quite a lot as far as hair goes for the month I did pick up the full size of the Kerastase resistance cement thermic vita cement top seal I got this one I think from lookfantastic.com you can of course obtain Kerastase in your local hair salons I picked this one up online from look fantastic and I love this I put this in my hair after I have shampooed and conditioned and towel dried, I really, really like the fact that it does detangle. It is a heat protection, which I always use in my hair every single day, but I love to be able to put this in my hair, comb it through after towel drying my hair, and to know that it's heat activated, it's a reconstructor, so it's really great for brittle, damaged hair. If you color your hair, if you heat style your hair regularly, this product may be a really nice one for you. I'm thoroughly enjoying it, and I feel like when I blow dry my hair the style stays the next day it didn't used to do that before I started using this product so really enjoying using this every time I wash my hair that is it for my favorites for the month and then a couple of misses for the month what I just was saying previously about the models prefer brand I do want to add the caveat that I think it is a little bit hit and miss and here is why I picked these two products up in a recent haul that I posted from Priceline this is the models prefer mystique multi-tone bronzer in the shade charmed and then the models prefer mystique soft touch blush in the shade charisma and what intrigues me about these blushes is that they look quite a lot like the benefit boxed blushes in you know packaging uh, you can see there that's the blush and then the bronzer actually looked quite a bit like the benefit Hervana blush but they don't swatch anything alike now the biggest reason that these ones are misses for me is that they absolutely stink now there are people who have issues with you know any kind of fragrance in a makeup product and then there are people who are also quite picky about the fragrance that they like and the fragrance that they don't like I'm someone who loves fragrance in a product I'm someone who loves most fragrances in a product I'm usually not bothered at all by fragrances in products it's sort of just a nice thing to have if it's there I'll usually enjoy any kind of fragrance these absolutely stink when I open these to use them I kind of just notice there's a terrible smell and I just think whoa what's that smell it kind of smells like skunk chemically skunky smell it's really horrible it doesn't make the makeup routine in the morning any more pleasurable in fact it detracts from it from the minute you open it up you just kind of think what is that smell and then you realize oh it's the makeup product that's supposed to make me feel beautiful Ugh. for that reason alone I would not recommend these models prefer blush or bronzer unfortunately other product is 
this one. This is the Astralis All Over Face and Body Tint. Now, many people think that this is a fantastic dupe for the MAC Face and Body Foundation. I completely disagree. This is not a terrible product. I just feel like for $20, it doesn't do much. I will be uploading a review video for you soon. I will be comparing it with the MAC face and body foundation so that you can see for yourself how different they are, how similar they are and make up your own mind whether you're interested in either of them or how you want to spend your $20 or your $45 or however much the MAC product is. This is not a dupe for the MAC face and body foundation. What it is, is a very lightweight coverage that goes on and feels much more like a moisturizer that just sinks into your skin. How much it moisturizes, I don't know. It does contain oils and natural emollients. So avocado oils help to moisturize condition and evenly distribute pigments. It doesn't mix well with every primer out there. In fact, it can ball up and go absolutely terribly. It doesn't go very well with a beautiful Beauty Blender, it's a nice product to use if you want very, very light coverage, a bit of moisture, you want to slap it on with your fingers and you don't care about SPF. So I feel like for $20, it doesn't do a whole lot. It doesn't do a whole lot. It sort of pretends like it's something other than a tinted moisturizer that lacks SPF. It's not anything other than a very lightweight tinted moisturizer that doesn't have SPF. So that to me, I think there are many other ways to better spend your $20 as far as I'm concerned. That's a miss for me because I think it is a bit of a cheeky marketing ploy to mislead people and there will be some of you out there who do think that it's a dupe. I understand that. My experience is that it's nothing like a dupe. I just think it's a bit of a cheeky marketing ploy from Australis using that packaging and name to help people part with $20. Uh, thinking that they're getting something very similar to MAC and they're not. And then my very last miss is a high-end. I picked this one up recently from YSL. This is their Glossy Stains and this one is in the shade 27. It was released recently in maybe their, you know, spring 2013 collection that's come out here in the fall time in Australia. It's a beautiful, beautiful peach when you swatch it. That's it just there. But when you put it on your lips, it kind of doesn't look like anything and I feel like it really doesn't last. One of the beautiful things about these glossy stains is that you pop them on and you've got a beautiful long-lasting shade and shine from the product. Glossy stain is what it's called. And that's what they do. But this shade, the 27, is just a miss for me. I feel like it's a waste of money and uh, I don't think I would recommend it despite the fact that the swatch looks so beautiful. I'm hoping to work with it a little bit more, thinking maybe it was my dry lips or something since starting Roaccutane. But I think I bought it before I started taking Roaccutane. Not sure. Maybe I need to play with it a little bit more, but I will say that I was disappointed in this product, even though I love the other shades that I have. So unfortunately, thumbs down right now for me with this YSL Glossy Stain in the shade 27. That, my friends, is all of my favourites and misses for April. I hope that you enjoyed. Let me know what your favourites were for the month or if you have any comments on any of these products that I have shared with you today, definitely comment down below. I love to hear from you. I can't always get back to you, but love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Have a fantastic May and we'll see you again really soon. Bye.